Hello, my unicorns, my lovely goddesses. This is Ronnie Lee. If this is your first time tuning into my channel, I am the Naked Medium. And I am making a video that is going to be a part of my Goddess Awakening series of videos. Now, these videos are going to be specifically about the things that we deal with on a daily basis as women. I truly believe to be a goddess and to continue on your spiritual awakening, something that makes you exceptional, exceptional ladies, not mediocre, exceptional in being the goddess that you are and tapping into your spiritual gifts and also widening your perception is dealing with our mess. We all have it. We've all come with mess. We've all gone through so much shit that it has shaped who we are today as women. And a lot of this stuff, we have learned our lessons and we have become empowered and we use that empowerment that we've gained. We use that new perception to help other people or to just help ourselves, you know, pursue our dreams and to be better people. Not so stressful, not so angry, not so bitter, just more focused and healthy individuals. So... Um, a lot of you are used to me making videos dealing with spiritual gifts and you know that when I'm talking in my videos I have brought up many times that to strengthen your gifts to make them even better and to bring about more clarity it's important to remove any spiritual blocks that may be in the way these spiritual blocks are caused from things that you have went through in life that have caused maybe a lack of trust that have caused you to feel unworthy and to doubt yourself because when you have those issues, it makes it harder for your gift to shine through. Um, when you remove all these blocks, you can see, hear, feel, and know a lot more clearly. That was cool. I didn't even think about that like that. All your clairs line up. I truly believe that dealing with my mess and looking at myself, literally looking in the mirror and saying, what type of shit do you have packed onto you? And where do we need to start? When you do that self-reflection exercise, when you really work on yourself, good and bad, it opens up many different spiritual um, opportunities. It opens up so many different doors to strengthening yourself. So if you are on a spiritual journey, you are awakened at this point, your third eye is wide open, and you're trying to be your best self, Please peel back the layers and deal with all the stuff that is happening inside because it causes a major effect on everything outside. And it also makes it almost impossible to manifest a lot of these desires you're looking to manifest. Down to healthy relationships, down to more money, down to um, being successful, having different opportunities in your career life. When you're trying to manifest something on a high frequency, but you're vibrating on a lower frequency because you haven't dealt with certain things. Like, for example, if you're trying to manifest more money, but you grew up and there was you had some type of stigma towards money. If it's not a healthy stigma, then you're trying to reach a higher vibration in regards to money, but you're vibrating on a low frequency because of your inner beliefs about money. So you trace back and see where this is coming from and you heal that issue. It's not that difficult. It's not as challenging as it sounds. Um, one of the major things is just bringing awareness to whatever the issue is. So, okay enough said because I want these videos to be a lot shorter because ladies we have a, there's a ton of us out there that need to awaken and there's a ton of us that need the support along this journey so I would love if you all would share these videos so um, I'm not going to make them long okay I'm gonna just get straight to it and anything that wants to be said we can continue the discussion below in the comment section okay so um First things first, today I want to talk about setting boundaries and why it's very important for you to set boundaries as a woman, especially while you're on your journey. So, um, and for any men that are tuning in, I speak to men as well. I just, I just, I just am a woman, you know, so I can really get into it. And I just want to also say that ladies, um, I hope your ears aren't sensitive because when I'm just relaxed like this and I'm just talking to y'all, I keep it way real. Y'all thought I kept it real before I'm gonna keep it way real now. And I might drop a lot of F-bombs. I'm going to try not to because you might want to share this video with somebody who has sensitive ears and is not really aware of the true meaning of curse words. So, anywho, direct them to another video that I made. Ladies, boundaries, setting boundaries. Why is it super important to set boundaries? One, 
when you allow people to walk over you, you are basically telling yourself, I don't care about how you think or feel about this situation. Other people are more important than you. And while you are on this journey of your awakening and trying to discover who you are and chasing dreams and trying to reach a higher frequency, the number one person that is extremely important is you. So if you are putting everyone above you and you are allowing people to disrespect you to the point where you walk away feeling like you've been drained or you 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 just feel upset, bitter, angry, and you're like, I wish I would have said something. I wish I would have done this different. You're beating up on yourself. Somebody is walking away with your energy and, and they're feeling empowered because they they took something from you and you're walking away feeling like you just got your ass beat. Not cool. I know how it is to not set boundaries. I've lived that for so long. I've lived my life to where I was so worried about making other people happy. Not just random people, but my family, my friends, and my children. And the only person that suffered was me. And I suffered so much emotionally that I couldn't give anything good to my family and my friends. I was just angry. And I was always, I wish I would have said this. And another thing, it's like, it drops your frequency so low, you beat up on yourself so much, it will lower your self-esteem. Setting boundaries is important. You don't want to be a damn doormat. Nobody wants to be a doormat. Nobody respects somebody that does not have boundaries. And a lot of times, ladies, you're out there looking for love and you're looking for a healthy relationship. Until you learn to set boundaries, you're not going to attract anyone that can treat you in a healthy way. I mean, that can treat you good and love you in a healthy way. You're basically setting your vibration to walk all over me. So who are you going to attract? You're going to attract a man that's going to walk all over you and that does not respect you. If you want a healthy relationship, set those boundaries. Um, many different areas where setting boundaries is important is with ourself. We have to look out and see the things that we do that are causing discord in our lives. Um, if, if you feel guilty for not working out, then work out. <laughs> like you know what I mean if you feel guilty for talking on the phone all night when you had work to finish or you just wanted some quiet time then stop doing it you need to learn how to set boundaries with yourself you can also be your own worst enemy at times just think what things do I want in my life and what don't I want in my life and where do I need to stop allowing these doors to be open um because it starts with us. When people start to see you respecting yourself and setting boundaries, they look at you differently. And I will say that in the beginning of setting boundaries, it's going to be a challenge. It's going to be a challenge to get people to respect you because they're uncomfortable. You've made them uncomfortable because all of a sudden you start giving a shit about yourself and they weren't used to you doing that. All of a sudden, you stop running around for them. They're not used to you doing that. You stop giving them rides. You stop answering your phone at all hours. You put your foot down. And that makes people uncomfortable. Because if people were used to treating you like shit, or if people were used to feeling like you were always accessible to them, then you just made them uncomfortable. And that's okay. It's going to take some time. You just keep pushing because what's going to keep you pushing and setting these boundaries is how great you're going to feel once you know that, oh my God, I'm no longer draining my energy trying to make everybody else happy around me. So start with yourself. First, get clear about what do what's going on in my life. What areas do I need to set boundaries? That would be the first thing that I would say to do. Okay. Then you want to go to your relationships, the closest relationships to you, because those are very important. Those are where a lot of our draining of energy comes from. <laughs> We're thinking along the lines of our significant other and our families and our friends. Family definitely thinks that you should be around every time they call to help them. That's not true. You shouldn't be. Um, a lot of times when it comes to family, we enable people by not setting boundaries and by always saying yes. So when you enable them, they never grow and you just become more and more frustrated and you become resentful and you end up talking shit about them behind their back or doing things out of anger, but doing it because you haven't learned to yet say no, not healthy boundaries. So to save on you talking shit about your family and your friends behind their back, just tell them to their face, this doesn't really work for me. Oh, can you go do this? Um, actually, I have something to do or I'll think about it and I'll let you know. Learn to say no. So that's why I said in the beginning, you need to get clear about where these boundaries need to be put up. Okay. Um, once you do that, 
you look at everyone like, okay, I know that my girl is going to call me at 11 o'clock at night, but this is the time that I need to meditate. This is the only time that I get to lay down and maybe binge watch on Netflix or just freaking relax. Take a bubble bath. I need to not answer my phone. No matter how many times people call you, if it's past the time that you've set, do not answer your phone. You have to teach people how to treat you and it has to start somewhere, okay? Um, these boundaries need to spill over into work. When you are at work, you're, mind you, you're at work most of your life, okay? It's very unfortunate. We'll talk about that later. You're there making somebody else rich. You're there pursuing whatever you want to do, your financial goals, whatever the case may be. You might actually like your job. But you cannot overextend yourself to make somebody else happy, okay? Maybe you need to tell your boss, hey, I told you that I couldn't work weekends, and I don't care how much you ask me or how good you look at it, you know, you know coming to you, hey, would you like this? Hey, I just wanted to say you looked really nice today. So I need you to work the weekend. No. I don't care how you dress that up. My boundaries were this. This is my schedule and I need you to respect it. Um, it's very important because when people see that they can walk over you, it's not even like intentional. But again, you, you're teaching them that it's okay to walk over you. So they don't even really look at it as something as, as being rude or mean. They just look at it as this is how you are. This is okay to you. So a lot of things are being done to you and you might think people have ill intentions and that's not what the case is. You've just never taught them how to treat you. You've never had any boundaries. And, um, okay, talked about that. Y'all can fill in the blanks. But I want to hurry up and get to some other things before the video gets really long. Um, children and love. Okay, first let's go to love. The challenge in starting to initiate boundaries when you're already in a relationship and you've already been in that relationship for a while and you didn't have boundaries in the beginning, yeah, it's not. Go it's definitely going to be challenging. But here's the thing. At this point in your life, why do you want to have unhealthy relationships? As great as you are and as great as you're becoming, why is it okay to be in a relationship with someone that does not respect you? Now, being that if you've been in this relationship for a while, be realistic and have a conversation. Sit down and compromise on something. Not your boundaries, but how you're going to initiate them together. If you're living with this partner, you guys have been together for a long time, just say, you know what, I'm changing and that's that's normal and natural, although people would like to believe that's not. I'm changing and I'm learning to love myself more and I'm understanding that certain things don't sit well with me. If that person loves you and you can sit down like a mature woman and have a conversation, then you guys will come to some middle ground to where you'll be able to place these boundaries in your relationship and you guys can grow from that, okay? But don't be unrealistic and don't come to the table trying to set boundaries out of anger. Um, the next thing is children. Oh my God, goddesses, you are so powerful. You're so wonderful that you've had these little awesome children that you allow to, like, seriously? Kids are cool and all, and they're cute and all, and we love them. Like, we will put our life on the line for them. But enough is enough. I feel like so many of us overextend ourselves to our children. It's ridiculous. And all we're doing is creating a bunch of children that when they get out into the real world, they're going to be so needy. Like, oh my God, my mom gave me all of her time, 24 hours of the day. I don't think so. I love you, but you're not getting 24 hours. Do not look at me like I'm crazy. I'm going to give you an example. So I have my mommy time where, you know, I have my time with my children. I have my time. I have to do things around the house. I have my mommy time. I have my time. I have to work. But my mommy time is my quiet time. This is the time that mommy goes in her room and she does whatever she wants to do. And be it for a half an hour, an hour, whatever the case may be. I have an older child that can, you know, look, it's your time to watch them. Um, I need my, my, my me time. And I've taught my children to respect that. But there were times I felt guilty, like, oh, my God, it's an hour out of the day and I'm not around them. I don't feel guilty about that anymore. But anyway, I went into my daughter's room one day and she said, um, I flopped down on her bed, like, let's just talk. Let's, you know, play Barbies. And she's six. And she looked at me and she said, what are you doing? I was like, I'm just coming out to hang out with you. And she was like, that's nice, mom, but I just want some alone time by myself. And I was like, oh, oh my God, oh my God, you don't 
don't need me i was like so happy i was so proud of her though because my daughter i'm not going to say what she is on the astrology chart but her sign tends to grow up and be kind of needy um not going to say that because y'all gonna be like what i'm not needy look i know enough of y'all to know that you can be needy so i when i had my daughter at the time that i did i was like oh crap so that was one of the goals that I had. I want her to be comfortable with being alone. Um, I want her to be comfortable with being in her own space and not feeling that she needs to have somebody around her 24 seven. So me initiating my mommy time was not just for me, it was for her. So when I seen that, not only she respected my time, but she grew from that and she took it into her own space and she enjoyed it. I'm like, this is good. I felt good and I felt like a proud mother because one thing that we don't want to do is be so on our children that they don't know how to be individuals. And we don't want to enable them to the point where we're like we're doing everything for them and we're with them nonstop to the point where they get older and God forbid they're not in a relationship or uh, their friends didn't call them for an hour and they're panicking like what do I need to do what do I like they're going to have that nervous energy and they're always going to feel that they need people around moms you are exceptional but you need your own damn time okay stop leaning on your kids to fill you up and don't don't raise your children and feel that like you always have to be plugged into each other they have to learn to be on their own and you need your me time your me time is important for developing your intuition, getting the rest that you need, relaxing, learning how to laugh and just have fun. When you're alone, you hear God's voice super clear. When you are alone, you feel what needs to be felt. And see, I didn't set a boundary for somebody not to call me while I was doing a video. Anyway, when you are alone, you connect to your higher self. So when you're not spending that time alone, look what you're missing. You're missing what's essential for your journey. So set these boundaries and learn to be the goddesses that you are. Um, I didn't want the video to even be 16 minutes long, but yeah, I was rushing it. There was more that I wanted to say. Anyway, somebody needs a boundary. So setting boundaries to wrap it up. It allows you to reinforce and strengthen your abilities it allows you to tap into your power to see that wow by standing up for myself and by saying no other people are respecting me better you will draw in better relationships healthier relationships and for those of you that are single set these boundaries and know how to work them now so when you draw in this a relationship it's it's one that's healthy it's one that is full of respect um also, setting boundaries allows you to reserve a lot of that energy that you're draining from people that don't respect you. And it also allows people to take accountability by looking at themselves and learning to depend on themselves and not always depending on you. Um, before I go, here is a book. It's by Doreen Virtue, and it's Assertiveness for Earth Angels. This was very helpful to me along my journey in setting boundaries and becoming more assertive. Um when we are so sensitive and just women we are very nurturing and we really don't like to see other people hurt and sometimes we feel that we have to say yes to everything this book helped me it, it helped to it helped to teach me to preserve myself be a little selfish and to be quite honest i get more work done my creativity flows a lot better and i'm a lot happier because i'm at the top of my priority list okay and I am definitely practicing teaching other people how to treat me. So it brings me a lot of joy. I believe that it will bring you a lot of joy. And um, for those of you developing your spiritual gifts, set those boundaries with people. Because when you're dealing with spirit, if you don't have healthy, strong boundaries with people, guess who you also don't have healthy and strong boundaries with? Spirit. And the last thing you want is a spirit walking around, attaching itself to you and draining your energy. When you set these physical boundaries, it transfers over into your spiritual boundaries as well. This is a part of you being awakened. This is a part of you being strong and being the goddess that you are. You have to set boundaries, number one. I know I'm speaking to somebody that needs to get it done. So please like and share this video and I will be back for more. I have a whole, I've got a lot of topics that we can talk about. I love you guys and yeah.
welcome to my goddess awakening space. I hope to see you guys again. Bye.